Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an expiration date to your shared Zoom recordings. So the first step is to log into your Zoom account. And again, this is just for cloud recordings. This is not for a recording that you've saved to your computer. So you then will click on the word recordings on the left and you'll scroll down and find the recording you want to add the expiration date to. So for me, I'll just do this one. So you go to the right of the name of the recording and you can click on the share button there. And here's where you can add the link. You'll see down here, add expiry date to the link. You're going to flick that switch and then you can pick a date weekly or if you click the little drop down you can do a custom date. The question I had was about locking students out of the recording after the semester ends so if you wanted to you could pick that date so if the semester ended December 20th you can do that and it'll automatically fill in the right number of days then you can click save and while you're in here if you don't want your students or whoever's accessing your meeting to download it and maybe share it somewhere you don't want them to, you can flick this switch off here next to viewers can download. If you're really worried, you can also use this passcode protection. You can turn that on and actually make a password for your students or viewers. And that's another way to kind of keep it hidden, I suppose from other people to access. And then there is a couple other options. I avoid these other options. This only authenticated users can view. Um, at our school, some of the students don't have their own Zoom accounts. They're just accessing via the web and they're like on a Chromebook or they're on some, some device where they can't have Zoom authenticate properly. So I just avoid this. You can use these other kind of ways to protect your recording if you want but I avoid this in our institution we found that when we've turned this on a lot of students can't access the not just the recordings but the meetings themselves um, and then then I'm not sure what this one is on-demand registration required I guess it enables this option to require invitees to register before watching the recording online that to me sounds like too much work uh, I, my philosophy in anything online education related is keep it simple so I'm not going to turn that on so now that I've made these changes I can copy the sharing information to my clipboard by clicking this link here and then I can paste that and give it to my students um, I can show you kind of what that would look like. So here's what that invitation would look like when you paste it in. It's going to have the name of the video, the recording link here, and the passcode if you chose a passcode. So if you share this with your students or whoever needs to access this video, that's everything they need to join. And then after the 87 days in this case, that link wouldn't work anymore so you'd be safe there all right now that we're we're done we can click done and that's it so hopefully that helps you have a good one